The Sherman Jumbo 75 and the Tiger H1 are both 5.7 heavies that are great tanks, but for different reasons. The Jumbo having great armor, while the Tiger H1 having great firepower. Here I will be doing a comparison between the two to see which one is a better 5.7 heavy tank. First, let's go to the armor viewer to compare the armor on these two tanks. Starting with a Sherman Jumbo, the upper front plate on this thing is quite thick. It's a 64mm plate with a 38mm plate combined at 48 degrees. This makes it about 160-170 millimeters of protection against standard APHE rounds. However, there's one issue with it. You can go to this machine gun port here. Any APHE round that goes through here is going to do significant damage to this vehicle or one-shot it. When you go to the turret, it's a different story. It's actually exceptionally well armored. The gun shield is volumetric. And the turret is about 152 millimeters thick in most places. There are a few small weak spots. But, for the most part, it's not going to get penetrated through here unless it's something like a Tiger too. The side angle, the side armor is 76.2mm thick. If he's angled like this, the upper front of this tank is actually not easy to penetrate. However, lower hole is only about 30mm thick. At much of an angle, it's very easy to penetrate and this is going to kill you. So as a summary, the Jumbo actually has very good front armor, but the lower side armor leaves a lot to be desired. Let's go look at the Tiger 1's armor. The first thing you'll notice with the Tiger 1's armor is that whenever it's not angled, the front plate is very vulnerable to a lot of guns at 5.7. It's only 102 millimeters thick at a small angle. That angle's not going to do much. You get penetrated with APHE. It doesn't matter if they hit the ammo or not. You're probably going to die if it's a big enough round. Another thing that Tiger H1 has is this big old cupola up here. This is a pretty common weak spot to get hit. You'll get a few of your crew taken out. Now, the big secret with the Tiger 1 is angling. Using a US 76mm gun, at an angle where the corner is almost pointed towards you, you'll find that most of this vehicle is impenetrable. Your only real option if the turret is facing you is to go for the cupola at this point. And if he's a smart Tiger player, he's probably going to be moving back and forth. In this case, the Tiger does have slightly weaker armor when it comes to full frontal engagements, but angled... It can make up the difference, although some guns are still going to go through. Something like an IS-2, but an IS-2 would also kill a Sherman Jumbo. The next thing that I'll go look at is for the firepower. There's a clear difference between these two. Against the two thirty four eighty five, the 75mm gun struggles, especially at range. There are some places like a turret ring that you can go for, however this sometimes doesn't do that much damage. The next round that you have is M61, with 104mm of penetration at 10 meters. Again, going with the turret ring, you're actually going to do more damage this time because you have APHE. You have to be careful though, sometimes you hit the upper part of the turret, it's not going to do as much damage. Next ammo that you have is T45, it's an APCR. Once again, turret ring shot. Let's go over to the Tiger 1's firepower. Your standard round, Panzer Granada 39, it's able to go through most of the front of the T-3485 at 500 meters. Let's see how far away it can go to where it would stop doing that. Setting at the max range of 2,000 meters, you're still going to go through that front plate. There is a huge difference in firepower when it comes to Tiger H1 and the Sherman Jumbo. So let's take a look at the mobility. Starting from zero, you notice that the Tiger 1 and the Jumbo Sherman are similar in speed. Never past 20 kilometers an hour, the Sherman Jumbo does start going a little bit faster. However, once this German general reaches 35 km an hour, it's at its top speed. The Tiger 1 is still going faster and faster. As a matter of fact, its top speed is actually 45 km an hour, which is why it's now going faster than the Sherman Jumbo. With the Sherman Jumbo, it is a little bit faster to move shorter distances, but for longer trips, the Tiger 1 will get there faster just because its top speed is higher. So, they're fairly similar in mobility, so how do these tanks compare overall? In my opinion, the Sherman Jumbo was a little bit more beginner-friendly because of the extra armor it has, and that you don't have to angle it. With the Tiger H1, while well, its armor initially may not seem all that strong when you angle it, it can be almost impervious to most of the targets that you face unless you're in an up tier. That, in combination with its very powerful gun, the Tiger H1 has a very high skill ceiling. So with this, I'd think the Tiger H1 is a better tank than the Sherman Jumbo, but it requires more skill. If you like my content so far, you should check out this video for my community.